welcome to a fantastic new week. My name is Vida Echetabo, the signpost. Today we're discussing quite a number of things, but Hello everybody, welcome to a fantastic new week. Today we are doing something a bit different and a quick nugget before I get into today's session. When you start a project, it's okay for you to course correct and ex experience and try and experiment other aspects. Don't kill anything, so let's try this today. Now, hello, good morning. Welcome to the signpost, the broadcast wing of Trinity Universal. I am Vida Echetabu bringing you the news on the R. This is where they used to play that music. Okay? Make sure you put music for me. Anyways, first to the headlines. Global phenomenon occurring simultaneously across all time zones and the nations of the world. Cradle snatchers and enablers identified and being challenged to responsibility. Rescue mission still been rolled out years and years after. Now for the details. Global phenomenon occurring simultaneously across all time zones involve many people and everybody who is watching this to know that they have experienced a miracle. For you to be awake, watching me, be able to use your bodily functions, let out some dragon breath or some nuclear warheads out of your rear end, that is a miracle for you to have a job for you to have children family hope anything travel eat digest the food breathe walk use the restroom that is a miracle a miracle we often take for granted it is a global phenomenon that started in australia and is also appearing in china it's also in africa in saudi across the various um, continents of the world as far as the Antarctica everybody anywhere is experiencing this miracle second headline cradle snatchers and enablers identified and being challenged to responsibility there is an African proverb that says it takes a village to raise a child we find it rather instructive that in this generation that a lot of parents are resisting the involvement of the community and society in raising their children. Every parent wants to be the one who knows how best to raise their children. And to some degree, that might be right. However, in a society where we are all playing different roles, Every little role, even that of the neighbor next door, plays a role in raising your children. We send children to school and expect the teachers not to correct, reprimand them because, you know, they are your precious ones and they are precious. We believe that after you've had a child, you know, and you're a, a mother for, or a parent, as the case may be, for five years, that you know everything. Meanwhile, your neighbor next door, your aunt next door, the uncle across the road have had children for 17 years and they know a little bit more about what's up the road than you do. And yet you do not want to have or allow the community get involved in raising the children. You know what? It is the opinion of the control tower of Trinity Universal that it is important that sensibilities are instilled deliberately in children 
so that we do not create adults with bizarre sensitivities. You can check that out in Proverbs 22 verse 6. Train up the child in the way it should go. And when they are old, they won't depart from it. Allow people correct. In fact, what I do say is I drive rough these days. If I see a child anywhere doing something that is not right, I will correct that child. The parents can lift their nose, have an attitude, a chip, a block or a mountain on their shoulders. I don't care. Because guess what? That tendency that you are instilling in that child that is not beneficial to greater society will wake up one day and trouble the rest of us who have instilled the right sensibilities in our children. One day when that child is out of your control and is probably throwing a tantrum and pummeling you in the middle of the night, it is we neighbors who took the time to train our children that will come to your rescue then and bang down the door and restrain that child from sending you to an early grave. So you know what? In order to avoid bizarre things, all of us are going to be responsible. From the woman who sells a car down the road, to the vulcanizer down the road, to the MD in the office, to the bus conductor along the way, all of us are going to be responsible to correct children where we see them step out of line. Enough of all this, I got it. You got nothing. You because beyond that child you do not know everything beyond those children you do not know everything so you see right now it's a community event, in, um, involvement we are all going to raise our children whether they are yours by your womb or yours by the world society spiritual we will correct any bad behavior because we're taking back our society and we're taking back our children and finally the last headline rescue mission to the nation still on course is your nation experiencing homelessness in some parts of it uh, are, are, the, are the people of that society jobless hungry do they need medical attention is that growth and no development is that development and no growth is debt foreign and local um, infrastructure debt and consumption debt are they beginning to overwhelm you are there sicknesses that do not have names that the people of your nation or family or society are experiencing are there strange anomalies of extreme anger fear threats tension be clouding your nation is there something that is not going right and there's a lot of wickedness, envy, jealousy, malice, strife in anywhere around you? Then guess what? You, are, you and your nation are the prime candidates for the grant. For the word of God says, For God so loved the world. Side note, you are God's world that he gave his only begotten son, Jesus Christ. Sent him into this world to save you and I from all these strange occurrences that we will not perish by them, but come to have eternal life. That rescue mission was launched over 2000 years ago. It has survived strange governments. It has survived errors the elizabethan era the victorian era the area the era of the industrial ages it has survived so many things it has survived analog it has survived um, it's even surviving digital and it will yet survive so many things and that rescue mission and the grant is inexhaustible it will reach everybody who is interested you just need to raise a hand and take a stand raise your hand and take a stand take a stand for jesus today because he is able he has more than enough because he says that he has come that we may have life and life more abundantly obviously we have seen governments try to fix many things 
and the more they fix new things pop up i give all the kudos and salutes to all governments who have tried and who continue to try but at the end of the day there is only one person that the bible says and the government shall rest upon his shoulder his name is jesus he's the prince of peace so are you having panic attacks wondering where's your meal coming from tomorrow or the economy or my rent or something or the other because there are so many things giving people depression and heartache and fear and concerns are you are you concerned that your children are not turning out right even though you are doing the best you can come to jesus here's the way the truth and the life that brings us to the end of today's broadcast once again, my name is Vida Echetabu, the signpost, the broadcasting wing of Trinity Universal. And just in case you wondered, the Trinity is God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Ghost, and they are in charge of the universe. Have a fantastic week and see you at the next broadcast. This is the top of the hour, your hour whenever you wake up. God bless you. Have a great day. Peace out.